And here you can cut off to Listener Brady Military Cemetery. Roger, you give us a bit of well, information. It was a small cemetery in a field just beyond us here. And it was where um, any members of the American forces who died while in action in Northern Ireland, they didn't die in combat, they died during the course of their work here and they were buried in the cemetery just up the road. Their bodies were, were later taken back to the States, but there is a, a, a memorial there for them. It's uh, just a few hundred yards across the field. Okay, there. shall we go and take a look? Go and take a walk over here. It smells amazing. It does actually, it smells like sweet almonds. Yeah. Okay. Wow, it's amazing. Yeah. The smell of almonds. The Irish countryside. It's on the breeze. It okay. smells all the way up the hill here. Okay, now we've got a good view of Napoleon's nose. It gets better. <laughs> Far distance there, you'll see the North Mountains, uh, and on the right of the range is the highest point in Ulster, and that's Sleep Donut. You can pick out a few of those: Millstone, Sleep Donut, Comida, Joanne, Sleep Burner, um, Neil Moore, and Neil Bay. That's yeah. about as much as I can I can make out. And there's we're looking down over Belfast Lock and the Cranes and over to Whitehead. Ah, and we've just got Stormont. <laughs> Actually, there we go. Stormont's sitting there waiting for us. I'm just saying, Roger, you used to do this for one of your training runs. <laughs> How long did it take you to, to leave the B&B and uh, run up here and run back down again? Nice little run. So if you're if you're training, if you're doing your training and you want to come to Belfast for the weekend, um, and you want a really nice training run. Yeah. Oh, look, you can see from here. You can see um, Snagan Meadows. <laughs> 